I will tell you how much I paid for it. I'm picking up a truck that's been kind of down. I bought it. He had, had some issues with an injector. I'll uh, show you guys what happened here. And yeah, I'm picking it up right now. So we're gonna drive it back to the shop. It was in the area, so let's go. All right, let's see if we can get it back to the shop. It's a good be needs to be checked. All right, so 630,000 miles. I got it. I got to swap one of my old D12s and a driver requested one like that. They like it. I try not to go against my own advice, but I bought that cheap one and it's been doing good so far. We have some issues, but this one has the comments in it and 10 speed manual, bulletproof somewhat if the emissions I have to go through the emissions and check what's going on with that and then detail it and just use it locally. See what, see if we can uh, pull some local freight with it and uh, hopefully the driver's gonna like it. So uh, I'm pretty sure he will. See if we can drive. That's the first time I actually am um, driving this thing. I just bought it without even checking it. So I don't rec I do not recommend you do that. Always drive your truck and check it and do a pre-purchase inspection. cap shocks have to be swapped and it's pretty comfy I see why the drivers like it but we really have to go through and find anything that possibly could go wrong but uh, it's pretty comfy I like it so I want to talk about this truck really quick I just bought it's a pretty common spec uh, international pro star so let me tell you about this Truck really quick, uh, 10 speed International Pro Star with Cummins in it. I just bought it as a package deal. And so the price that I paid for is probably less than what a dealer would sell it to anybody. And I looked up the prices for the trucks that are available on the market right now on uh, truckpaper.com. And I just wanted to see where I'm at with the purchase around the same mileage, same spec. So I will tell you how much I paid for it at the end of the video. And if you can do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and like the video. I would appreciate it, it helps us out a lot. And let's talk about the truck we could. So I just brought it back to the shop. We're gonna have our detail guy clean it up pretty quick. And I wanna tell you what I found out about the truck and how much I paid for it. Found couple on I found quite few on truck paper and as you can see the asking price for some of those uh, there's one that's 530,000 miles they're asking almost $80,000 and then the ones that are closer to the mileage I have I have over 600,000 miles on it um, this one here with 680,000 miles is 74,000 749 so 75,000 the one that's uh, 615,000, which is similar to mine, is $73,000. And um, another one, 680,000 miles, they're asking $70,000. Another one is at 650,000 miles, and they're asking 70,000 miles, $70,000. All with Cummins engines. So as you can see, they, they're used to, those trucks used to sell for a lot less. Obviously, everything sold for a lot less, but they they came up in price, and just wanted to kind of buy one since I have one with a terrible engine uh, that I bought for a very cheap price, and I just the driver keeps driving it and likes it, and 
I wanted to buy another one just to test it out and see. So what I paid for mine is about $48,000. Yes, it needs some work. It needs to be detailed and gone through. The cap shocks, the airbags are uh, out. So we have to swap them for better one, for new ones. We have to go through the truck. I haven't looked at the exhaust and the emissions at all. So there's gonna be definitely a bill, hefty bill to get the truck to the level that it's supposed to be. So just FYI, it was a bulk deal, which means I bought other trucks with it. And that's why I got a good price for it. But just to give you an insight on what's out there on the market, what the market's doing, and could you buy this truck? Are those trucks worth looking at? They're definitely worth looking at. Definitely uh, go with the Cummins versus uh, the Max Force engine and you should be good to go as long as you do a thorough inspection and um, you bring a mechanic with you or you know what you're buying then definitely something you can look at. I will definitely do a vlog around how the truck is doing. I'll give it to a driver for a local route and we'll see how it's doing and I'll keep you posted on how it's doing. So thank you guys for watching, subscribe, share and I'll talk to you soon.